All right, now Samsung is expected to change the entire look and feel of One UI on the upcoming One UI 7.0 based on Android 15. This upgrade is expected to bring a major UI design change and already there are multiple leaked screenshots on X suggest that there will be a refreshed UI with brand new icon designs. As you see in the screenshot, the brand new icons look pretty cool and they are colorful and looks like there is some iOS touch to this. And these icons still retain their squircle shape which we have been seeing since many many years on the Samsung Galaxy phones. Of course we can change the shape of these icons using good lock modules and we of course can download uh, other different icon packs from uh, Galaxy Store or Play Store. However it's good to see the default icons getting revamped and getting some new designs here. You can see the screenshot shared on X, the gallery icons, the contacts icon, clock, weather and a few more icons which are completely new here. Another leaked screenshot shows some new changes made for the icon and widget style menu for home screen settings where we get to see two options classic and bold it says choose classic to show app and widget labels or bold for bigger icons without labels so if you select the classic style you will see the icon labels for all the icons as well as the widgets that you are going to set on the home screen now we have seen the widget labels on the ios and it looks like Samsung is also implementing something similar. We may get the widget labels right below the widgets. I mean, this is just a leaked screenshot. I'm not really sure why do we really need uh, the widget label when we can see the widget uh, big and bold, but that is what the leaked image suggests. The second option is bold, where the icon sizes look bigger and there is no icon labels or widget labels. Again, this is something we have seen on the iOS 18 where we get two different icon sizes. And here on One UI, the implementation is different. We get the titles on the classic and uh, without titles, but bigger icons and widgets on board. Next, there are a few more screenshots of camera application. You can see there is an all new design the UI for the camera app. We've got almost all the controls available right here at the bottom. You can see we've got settings, we've got flash option, timer, aspect ratio, megapixels, and we can also scroll towards the right to see some more options. And we also have all the other options like portrait, photo, video, more uh, options right here at the bottom. So more or less all the settings and options are brought down to the bottom of the screen for a seamless one one hand operation and this is what one ui is all about right one ui was launched with this concept where we get to use all these settings and options right at the bottom of the screen and we don't really have to use the second hand that was the whole concept and it looks like the same concept will be implemented in the camera application as well we may get all the options right here at the bottom this is what the screenshot suggests so looking at all these leaks it looks like samsung is borrowing some elements from the ios 18 and some will be original features from samsung and there is another leak from ice universe which says one ui 7 has no dynamic island it just has an ellipse icon on the status bar for prompting in the one ui 6 there was only a call display in One UI 7, other functions have been added, such as stopwatch and recording. So you will have this small tiny pill on the top left of the status bar, which will indicate the ongoing function on the phone. If you are on the call, it will show up in this tiny pill. If you are running a timer or a stopwatch, it will show up right here on the top on the status bar in this tiny pill, which looks pretty cool. Again, this is something similar to Dynamic Island, and I'm not really sure what happens when you tap on this particular uh, pill here. Does it expand to the entire screen, or does it just expand? Band, like the dynamic island let's wait and see that these are some of the latest leaks we have got regarding the one ui 7.0 and we are expecting the beta version the first beta of one ui 7 to arrive probably by end of this month or in the month of august i will keep you guys posted and i will share all the new features that we are going to get on one ui 7.0 so stay tuned be sure to subscribe to the channel and give this video a like if you find this video informative thanks for watching my name is salian signing off cheers bye bye Thank you.